And now, introducing your host, the one, the only, and your personal experience coach extraordinaire, Dr. Khalifa Oliver. So I know this is, I hate to always be standing between people and their lunch, and I know that's what this is. And I know I've heard people when they come in like, what is main character season? So I gl I'm glad I got you curious. We'll talk a little bit about it. I'm gonna do a little bit of unorthodox things, not illegal, so it's okay. Um, and then you'll, you'll vibe with me and you'll see the journey that I'm gonna take you on today and explain to you what I mean when I say main character experience. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna ask everybody to do is please take out your phone. And I know your phone not far, you're all moms. <laughs> Don't try to play with me. So the first thing I want everybody to do is take out your phone. This is how I start all of these workshops. And I want everybody in here to take a selfie. Take it, now. Easy assignment. Take a selfie. Easy assignment. Look at, look at, some of y'all are already main characters. I see it. The easiest assignment you probably have. Now, I didn't say take two, three selfies. I said, I said one. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk more about why y'all took that selfie in a little bit. So, why am I doing this workshop? Why do I do this? So, as you know, oh, we still have a selfie group. A few main characters on the left. All right, we got our selfies, we're good? All right. So, in all the experiences that I have, one of the things I've learned, I've been focused a lot of, on employee experience. That's what I do, I build it. My belief is that everybody has the right to have a brilliant experience at work. Work shouldn't feel like a thing, right? No matter what job you do. But as I started to do that, I realized that my focus is on people experiences, right? What are these experiences that people have and how do we people center the way we do things? As I started doing that, let me explain to you where my journey started, okay? So I got three kids, um, eight, my eight-year-old, he has autism. I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old who think they're grown. The three-year-old is in her full terrorist mode right now, right? So throughout my entire life, you hear an accent, I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago, I have always been in school or working. Some of y'all can relate to that, right? School or working. And that's all I did, got married, had kids, school working. My career progressed. I was doing good. By the time I was pregnant with my last child and gave birth, I couldn't answer one simple question. Who are you? I didn't know who I was. I could tell you my roles. Right? 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 So let's talk about it. All the roles we have. Mama. Wife. Sister, friend, daughter, employee, manager, hairdresser, Uber driver, caregiver, therapist, right? Right? I knew, I knew all my roles. I could tell you every role and I could tell you what I could do really well. And during that process, I realized I was angry all the time, I was frustrated all the time, I hated all my experiences. I hated work, I hated everything. I don't think I was a good mother, I don't think I was a good wife. My husband will never actually say it, but I don't think I was a good wife. But um, I realized, like, what is this? Went to therapy, could not answer a basic question about me. Ask me about my job, I could tell you, right? And I know a lot of you feel this way. I that I was at the center of my own experiences. So I really started a journey of searching. Who am I? And things got better, and I got better. Started to take care of myself mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm doing good. But life lifes, right? Now, I'm gonna tell you my credentials again. I have a PhD in industrial organizational psychology from Clemson University, and I have certification in MIT, certification in people analytics from MIT. But here's the thing, I was laid off twice in a year in a terrible job market. After the first layoff, here's what I realized. Although I had worked on myself a lot and felt bad about who I was, I realized I went to my therapist and she said to me, who are you without a job? 
here we go again. Could not answer. Because I never realized how much my job was tied to my identity. And no matter what job you do, whether you are a homemaker, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, the Uber driver, my life was tied to that, my identity. And I told people that the hardest part of that first layoff, it wasn't the layoff day. It was the next morning when I woke up and realized for the first time in my life, I have no job. I have nowhere to go. I was lost, right? And remember, I studied people experience for a living. I, in my head, I know the layoff was not my fault. I know it was a financial decision, but my mind played every trick on me because life were life. So I did the, I did the work. Started working out, started trying to keep myself busy, got on a flight, got to Thailand, did a retreat there. If you want to do that retreat, let me know. I'll, I'll give you that link. It was the most, best thing in my life. Jumped off of a yacht, never did that before into the ocean, had fun, really realized that I had to center my experiences on me and who I was. So then I went to my therapist again, and she said, who are you without your job? Have you figured it out? I said, this is what I figured out now. It's my main character season. And, let me and that's what this was born from. And that's my story of how I got there. And let me explain to you what the main character season is. Main character season is starting to learn how to control your space, your voice, and your energy. Main character season is putting yourself first and centering yourself and not worrying about those feelings of guilt. Main character season is about learning that you have to pour into yourself before you can pour into others. You can't be mama, wife, teacher, Uber driver, right, doctor, lawyer, on an empty tank. And we do it too often. And I can tell you this, black women, we have this superhero complex, okay? So I'm gonna say this right now, and then I'm gonna give you all my next random exercise, and then we'll talk about it. Main characters, can we give the superhero thing a rest? Let me explain. I, Khalifa Oliver, did not sign up to be an Avenger. <laughs> Listen, to be a main character, you have to learn to rest. To be a main character, too, you have to be able to accept compliments from others. Because, woman, what's generally the answer when somebody says, you look nice today. <laughs> you know, you know, don't pretend you don't know. We don't like to just accept the compliment. We don't like to just say thank you. Because and this is very true of black women, we are culturally trained to pull, not accept. So I want you to remember that anytime somebody pays you a compliment, think of it as a payment. It is a gift. Take their gift. Next time somebody says, girl, you are looking good today. You said, and why would I not be looking good today? <laughs> right? It's a muscle, it's a reflex. Being a main character is not easy. It is hard. You're fighting society, you're fighting work, you're fighting idiot managers, you're fighting, you're fighting your family. Sometimes you're fighting your mama. Sometimes you're fighting your own kids for attention, right? And I am telling you that you're not pouring into others if you're empty. You're hurting yourself. And you're hurting everybody else who should be able to shine into your light. Okay? So here's my next random exercise. I want everybody to stand. Go, roll with me here. 
And it's, listen, we're main characters, so if, you, if your feet are hurting because the heels kick it off, it's fine. <laughs> no judgment. This main character season is a judgment-free zone, okay? It's judgment-free, all right? All right, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things for me. Nothing crazy, don't worry. First, I want everybody to close your eyes, and I want you to take a deep breath in and out. Keep your eyes closed. Right now, I want you to think of something, some place, some person, some activity that brings you joy. I want you to stay in that feeling. Stay in that feeling. I don't care if it's a massage, I don't care if it's running, I don't care if it's sleeping, because I'm a sleeper. Stay in that feeling. Now, whatever you're envisioning, or whoever, or whatever, I want you to put yourself in the middle of it. Because I already know that some of y'all envisioned a person, and you're not in it, an activity that you're watching. Whatever you're envisioning right now, put yourself in the center of it. If it's a smell, like grandma baking cookies, a memory, I want you to, instead of envisioning looking at grandma making the, ba the, the cookies, I want you to envision waking up to that smell. You. I want you at the center of that that you're envisioning. And once you're there, I want you to live in that joy again, that feeling, that peace, that happiness, that belly laugh. Whatever that brought for you in that moment, you should be seeing yourself in it. If you're hugging your child, if it's a graduation, you should be in it, in your own vision of yourself. Take a deep breath in again. Out. Open your eyes and sit in that joy. How was that? Yeah? Yeah? Do you see how easy it is to lose yourself in your own joy? Because I know some of y'all envision things without yourself in it. Because okay? it's hard to be a main character. Somebody asked me recently, what is, what is confidence? Because I'm a confidence coach, right? Experience coach. What the heck does that mean anyway? I said, confidence is the ability to walk in a room and take up space. Now let me be clear. It's not the ability to walk into a room and suck all the air out of it. <laughs> That's very different, okay? You walk in that room and you take up space. You walk in the room because you're supposed to be in that room. You don't take a seat or place away from anybody. That seat was yours, right? That's what main character season is about. And in confidence, it's knowing that if you exit that room, you are still in it. Let me explain. I like to story tell when I have data. I'm a nerd, as you probably figured it out. But I like to tell stories with data because I find it stays with people longer, right? When I was young, I used to do storytelling competitions and stuff. And I want you to think about this. Think of a fairy tale. Maybe think of uh, the three little pigs. Think about this. Every time you retell that story to somebody. In fact, if you're thinking of it in your head right now, the cadence that you're thinking of saying it in, if I told you to say it to me right now, the cadence, the pictures in your head comes from something, somewhere, somebody, some voice, and it's stuck with you. All these years later, that person is still a main character in your life. Because it's the confidence and the ability to 
walk out of a room, not having to look back and knowing that you're still in there. Your voice is still in there. Your energy is still in there, right? A lot of people talk about energy a little loosely, and I'm the first person to roll my eyes here, show okay, energy, right? But there's something about when you lean into centering yourself in a room, understanding what makes you happy, what doesn't. Because listen, as a main character, you don't always have to be happy. Let me, let me ground us in some things, right? I'm not gonna be here talking about only warm and fuzzy things. Being a main character is not easy. I am not telling you that finding your voice is easy. It is hard. I am not telling you that walking into a room and taking up space is easy. It's hard. I am not telling you that finding your light is easy. It's hard. It takes work. It takes intention. You have to make a decision every single day to be that main character. You have to make that intention every single day. Then when I walk into this room, this is my room. I don't care who's in that room. This is my room. When I take that selfie, this is my picture. Because this is who you are, right? And that's a tough feeling because it feels selfish. It, but let me tell you what's more selfish. More selfish is having the audacity to believe that you can keep pouring into other people on an empty tank. That is probably one of the most selfish things you can do. People who need you and are depending on you. And you're like, I am Hulk today. And I am just going to be everybody's superhero today. And you don't even bother to take care of yourself. You are functioning on E and have the audacity and the ego and the narcissism and the absolute unmitigated goal to believe that you can pour into other people. After a while, you're just pouring blood. Because the thing that you start pouring at that, even when you don't realize it, is anger, fear, tiredness, panic, anxiety. That's what you're starting to pour. You're letting that out in the world. You're the main character making everybody miserable. <laughs> as soon as you walk in your room, it's like, not her again. <laughs> oh boy, right? You're that person. And a lot of times the reason we're like this is because we don't know how to sit in our joy. We don't know how to sit still in our joy. We don't know how to picture ourselves in joyful places in joyful moments. We picture the beach as a place that relaxes, but we cannot picture ourselves on the beach because we're always out of our own picture. If you want to use a more uh, traditional approach to main character, like think of movies, right? TV shows. You ever realize that ever so often, there is a, it always annoys us as viewers, but it's a side character tangent and you're like, I don't, I don't care about their backstory. I'm, I want to know about the story that I'm following, right? Well, I don't care about this, the side character backstory. But the thing that you have to realize is even at the times when there's a side char char character story, if the main character shows up, what does everybody know about that person? They're still the main character. Being a main character doesn't mean that you don't make room for other people. In fact, that's what a main character does. They make room for other people, but not at the expense of themselves. That's the hard part, right? That's the hard part, right? Yes, you want to be everybody's hero, but you can't be. And it's okay. I am here to tell you that as you step into your main character season, as you start thinking of yourself as that person, as you're like, you know what? These clothes, they were made for me, right? These pants, these, these shoes that are hitting my feet, mine. Because <laughs> I'm the main character of my own story, right? It's my story. It's your story. 
One of the reasons why I said, take a selfie, is because I knew what everybody was going to do. Start looking around to see who else was taking a selfie at the same time. Y'all thought it was a trick. It's a trap. It wasn't a trap. Because that's what we do. We have a tendency to worry about everybody else. As a main character, you can't worry about everybody. I said, take a, take a, take a selfie. In fact, take a selfie now. Take a selfie. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Take a selfie. And this is it. Y'all already know. I just said, you know what a main character is. So y'all better find that light. Yes, I'm seeing more smiles. Find that light. Find that energy. This whole room is shining more now than y'all came in. Look at that. A whole sunshine in this room now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this man. Yes, we got a pose over on this side. That's a main character. How does that feel? It's scary. You're taking out a, a phone in front of a bunch of. I could be a crazy person telling y'all take your phone out. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. But being a main character doesn't only take trust in the people around you, but it takes so much trust in yourself. Okay? It takes so much trust in yourself just to be a main character. So I want to interact with you some more. I want main character stories from this group. I want you to tell me what is your main character moment when in this moment when you have a memory you are at the center of that memory. Please don't tell me your birth and stories. I, I'm good. Your birth and stories. I am three kids in. <laughs> <laughs> but what is your main, so let me if, if anybody's willing to share, share with us a main character moment. Something that even in this moment, until now you never thought of it as a main character moment. A main character moment could be a decision where you chose you. And I want you all to know that was also a main character moment, just speaking up, right? Not knowing how we were going to react. Hint, hint. Um, any other main character moments? I feel good to be a main character. It feels feel good, right? Anybody over here? Okay, I'm not going to put y'all on this. It's fine. I'm not going to put y'all on this spot. So here's the other thing that I'm going to do. So here's my third random request. So now that I think y'all trust me just a little bit, okay? So to be a main character, as I said, you have to be able to take a compliment. You have to learn to say thank you. You have to enjoy the compliment, okay? I'll tell you the other part of being a main character after I tell you what I want you to do. And after you do it, let me say that. I want you to find somebody in the room and I want you to sincerely pay them a compliment about something that you've observed. Sincerely. It could be somebody next to you. It's fine. If you know the person, don't cheat. Find somebody else. <laughs> find somebody else. It could be their shoes, their clothes, their brooch, their hat, something. I'm gonna give y'all like three minutes to do it. Take some time, talk to somebody, find somebody in the room. Do you think you can move your mic up maybe? Oh. Some people were saying they couldn't. Oh, Here. this mic, this mic gonna go to the video. This is And we didn't put one in the room request, so we don't have just, I'll talk loud. So that's your guy? Yeah.
I'm gonna let these come to the natural ending. I don't want y'all to cut off mid-sentence. All right. I see y'all deep in it. Okay. okay. If I could get y'all back a little bit. Did y'all feel the energy of the room shift? Yeah? The energy of the room did an instant shift. And that's the energy I want y'all to start understanding. When you get in a room, the energy shifts. Go talk to somebody. Feels good. By the time y'all go down to lunch, and you're gonna be the happiest people in there. <laughs> right? How did it feel to just get a compliment? And take it. And take it. Leave with the gift that somebody just gave you. Right? You did your hair today, you knew it was good hair, but you didn't know what's going to be complimented here, right? That's what being a main character is about. It's not always the expectation of the compliment, but when you get it, you receive it. Take it, take the gift. But here's the other side of it. Giving a compliment is also hard. We are also not that trained to give compliments sincerely. Generally, as humans, we give compliments just because. <laughs> You're looking good today, yeah? You look good too, all right. <laughs> good morning, good morning, okay. Right? We just train to just give compliments just because. But there's something in getting sincere compliments from somebody. Because we never know what somebody's going through. And a main character never knows, never has to know what somebody's going through. And let me be clear. To be a main character doesn't mean that you're experiencing every moment in joy. It doesn't mean that you're never going through. Because we be going through it, y'all. <laughs> we go through it. And it's okay to go through it. If we go back to the idea of a TV show or a movie, the whole reason we watch it because we want to go, we want to see the main character go through it. I watched Game of Thrones because I needed to see what was going to happen to <laughs> Jon Snow, right? Was he going to go through it or not? Right? That's OK. And let me tell you something about when you're going through it, my main characters, because that's who you're allowed to me now, my main characters. It's OK to go through it. Don't stay in it. The worst thing you can do for yourself as a main character is try to avoid going through it. You empty your tank even faster. And then we go into our jobs, and we go be parents, and we go drive Uber or Lyft. No discrimination here. And we're, we don't have it, and we don't know why. Because you're avoiding it. We want our main characters to go through it, which means we have to go through it too. And it's hard. And sometimes when you are finding your main character season, you get rejected. And there's nothing harder than being vulnerable and getting rejected as you. I tell this to people at work every day, when I consult, that is. You always tell people to bring them, their whole selves, to work. Do you know what a hard request that is? <laughs> Me bringing my whole self to work? <laughs> right? <laughs> Whatever self you get is the whole self you get in that day. Right? Because when you are ask, what you're asking people to do is be vulnerable and as vulnerable as possible. And we do it. And you could potentially get rejected. If we think about the work, the work situation, you don't get a promotion. Your boss shut you down. You're on the Zoom call and they're like, that's enough, Khalifa. Thank you. Right? <laughs> you get rejected. And you're mad. Listen, be mad. What's wrong with that? Just don't stay mad. Just don't stay in it. Be mad. You can call them whatever you want in your head. 
Don't say it out loud. I didn't say say it out loud. But be mad, but stay mad. You might be sad. Be sad. Don't stay in it. Because when I tell you about taking control of your, you notice I didn't say take control of your emotions. I said take control of your energy. You're in charge of your energy. Staying in it sucks your energy. And that is felt by every person in the room. So when you are staying in it and walk in the room, you're the one sucking all the good air out the room. Because you're staying in it. Right? That's keeping your car running when you're short on gas. For what? For why? Why is your air condition on? You're not going to go inside. <laughs> right? That's how we are. We have a finite amount of energy. So when we think about stress, that's what it is. There's this book I like to read called Why Zebras Don't Have Ulcers. Right? And it talks about the fact that as humans, we feel stress because we're always questioning the next thing. We're always thinking too far in advance. The zebra is just eating. The zebra sees the lion. The zebra runs. That is the most stress it has. It is going to use all the courses, all it has, to run. If the lion catches it, it catches it. That's just the way it goes. But it's going to try to survive. And then when the chase with the lion is done, the zebra gets over it. The zebra doesn't stay there wondering where the lion is. The zebra goes back to do it, to eat it, to mind its business until the next lion comes. That's what stress is. Stress is us always staying in it depleting our energy. A kid gets us mad, and I got a three-year-old, so they are mad. We stay in it, and we teach them to stay in it. Now everybody's mad. <laughs> everybody's mad in the house, right? Because the energy is gone, the energy didn't shift. And sometimes it's when you come out of it, and that's why you often hear people say, apologize when you're wrong. It can shift the room because it replaces energy in the room. That's what main characters do. You're taking care of yourself. And let me tell you something about self-care. Everybody's going to tell you how to self-care. There are going to be people at work telling you how to self-care. But they're going to still work you from like, you know, nine to nine and then say, go self-care. When? Right? But let me tell you about self-care and work-life balance. And I want you to use this in every part of your life as a main character. And this is where you center yourself. It depends on you. Your work-life balance is not a 50-50 thing. Some people get energy from work. So you think they're overworking. I think they're overworking. Why doesn't Sally turn her computer off? But Sally is in it. She's doing something creative. Mind your business. Let Sally be. Turn off your computer. Peace out. See you later, Sally. Have a good time. Right? And so that's what being a main character is about. It saves your energy. And when you learn to save your energy, that's where you find your light. That's where the space is in the room. That light is hard to find sometimes, especially on the dark days. And sometimes you have to force yourself to see the light. And sometimes the light is the tiniest thing. But here's what I want to encourage you to learn to do. Stop looking for the light in the distance. That might be the light at the dark end of the tunnel. That's not the light I'm asking you to go search and follow, OK? Find the light in the little things. You've been stressed, and something funny is on the internet. Live in it. Enjoy it. You want that massage? If you can afford it, go get it. It's been a stressful couple of years for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. It's hard. This is one of the few times in life that the entire world has had a chance to pause. And there have been a lot of people who paused and didn't like what they saw. And there are a lot of people who are trying to rethink what they're doing 
and that's okay. Because when you start rethinking what you're doing, you're still centering yourself, and that's okay. I don't want y'all to ever leave this room when I say you're stepping into your main character season. I don't want you to think that once you walk out of this room, your main character season is finito. It's done. I got it. I'm a main character. I'm... It's a journey. Are you a main character? Yeah. I want to see y'all high-stepping it down them stairs. Yes. Right? When you walk into that room, people should know y'all were in this session. Y'all just main characters entering this room, right? That's how it feels. Because once you start to practice it, it becomes easier. It becomes easier to walk into that room. It becomes easier to find the light. It becomes easier. You start laughing at you find things that bring you joy. You start laughing at the video on the internet. You start having a joke with somebody. You start remembering stuff. You start baking the cookies. You start doing those little things that give you joy. It becomes easier to do the next time. And then the next time. You go for that massage, and you ask yourself, where was I without that massage? Right? Go get your, get your nails done, if you want. Do your own nails, if you want. Take a moment, breathe, close your eyes. Learn to be OK with yourself. I can tell you this from experience. Often, we don't like to be by ourselves in our own thoughts, because we always have things racing. There's always something to do. When you think you sit still, there's always somewhere to be, something you could be doing. Why? You ever stop to just ask yourself why? Will something explode if I give myself five minutes? Now, if it will, please go to. <laughs> the disclaimer if it will, please go handle it, right? We create a lot of false fires in our own lives, and it prevents us from stepping into our own lights. Because we're too busy running into the fire on the left when there was the light over on the right. So here's what I want you to remember. You can be the main character of your own life. It is your energy. Your energy is finite, but you can produce more. So your energy in any given time could be finite. And it's okay to get tired. But know that you're tired. And I promise you, when you start realizing when you're tired, you're going to recognize tiredness much easier next time. I don't know why my kids don't like to sleep. I love a nap. <laughs> right? Because that's what being a main character is. A main character is not about being perfect. When you go into your main character season, you're going to fall. You're going to stumble. You're going to roll down the hill. Yeah, use the Jack and Jill reference. <laughs> it's going to be tough. People will fight you. Because let me tell you something about being a main character. There is always some villain trying to mess with your whole main character energy. <laughs> Don't give them your energy. Don't give them your energy. They are miserable. They are not main characters. Why are you fighting the non-main character? Right? Let them be. If they're miserable, you do not have to be. And every role that we talked about when we first started this, every role that you have is important. It's an important role. I'll never tell you, don't lean into those roles. But the first role I want you to remember as a main character is you. I want you to be able to as you leave this room and you start thinking about it, I want you to be able to ask yourself, who am I? And you don't put a role where you're not in the center of it. It's hard, right? It's hard. But it's something you can do. And we also need, as main characters, to learn you don't need to live in the awe. You don't have to be a mother, or a wife, or a leader, or a manager, or you don't have to live in the awe. Somehow society has told us we have to constantly live in the awe. We don't. You're a mother, and a wife, and a main character. Right? You're awesome. You're also a mom. Right? 
Because it's living in the awe that stops us a lot of times from being a main character because we feel like we have to stop one to be another one. It's you. And you could be a main character mother and a main character leader and a main character manager and a main character chapter president. You can be the main character. And it's okay. It's not selfish. It's fine. So, the last thing, I think it's the last thing, because I'm gonna let you all out a little early. The last thing I want you all to do now, remember those selfies you all took in the beginning? I want you to take a look at those first selfies. I was looking a little trepidation. Now, some of y'all, I know y'all went full glam. Hats off to you. <laughs> See that first selfie? That's not a main character selfie, I promise you. That is not a main character selfie, I am telling you. I will come and I will look and I will laugh because it is not a main character selfie. <laughs> because y'all didn't know what I meant by main character season yet. So now, I want a main character selfie. I don't care if you stand to take it. I don't care if you ask somebody to take it. I don't care if you go on that white backdrop. Right now, your only mission is to take a main character selfie. I want to see poses. I want to see wind. I want to see things. <laughs> I want all the things. And at the end of this session, as I'm closing here, all I want you to repeat after me is this one thing. It is my main character season. It is my main character season. All right, take them selfies. Thank you. Yes for the hats. Look at that. Look at that, finding angles. Yes. You're glowing, you're glowing now. <sighs> well, I know we're taking selfies, but we just want to take one moment to thank our presenter, Dr. Jennifer Oliver. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. She does have lots of contact information, so make sure you get a card on the way out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, but no problem. Dr. Khalifa Oliver, with over 15 years of experience as an international experience coach, internal and external consultant, and executive coach for startups, nonprofits, and Fortune 100 companies in a ton of different industries. Follow Dr. Khalifa Oliver on all major social media platforms.